Right, Marissa, 29 $0.8 billion, according to the Attorney General. That's an estimate of how much fraudsters stole nationwide from people using these scam calls last year. Now, New Hampshire Attorney General John Formella says a task force is focused on shutting down the gateways profiting off this. The National Anti-Robocall Litigation Task Force is moving to enforce compliance with the civil investigative demands issued to two voice service providers over alleged involvement in illegal robocalls. The targets of the investigation are Avid Telecom and One ILLC. The AG's office says they allowed hundreds of fraudulent calls on their networks. According to the National Consumer Law Center and Electronic Privacy Information Center, more than 33 million scam robocalls are made to Americans every day. They include fraudsters posing as the Social Security Administration, Amazon, and employers offering work opportunities. I think it really affects people all around the country. It especially affects people here. We have an aging state. We have a population that is vulnerable to these types of scams, and we're looking to crack down on them. So the attorney general says if you get something that sounds like a pre-recorded call from a government agency, do not follow the steps. He says government agencies typically do not leave pre-recorded calls like this. Live in Concord, Grace Feinerman, WMUR News 9.